Hello and welcome to Aversam Insights. My name is Mark. Today I want to talk to you about integrating your WooCommerce website with Aversam. As you know, WooCommerce is actually a software plugin for WordPress websites that allows new companies to provide fully featured e-commerce websites as well as supporting blogging. All as an easy deployable option, which is supported by an awful lot of people, either directly or as an option for when you have web space. I'm going to start today with a basic install of WordPress and WooCommerce. The only plugin that's come in with this is um, Yoast SEO. So we're going to jump back to Aversam and to integrate a sales channel you're going to start off by going to settings and sales channel integrations. Now in here because I don't have any integrated already we're going to go to add sales channel. This shows you the ones that are available. Now as you can see WooCommerce is here, if you click on the WooCommerce help documentation box this will open a new tab and give you access to the documentation specifically for your WooCommerce integration. Alternatively, for example if you're watching this video, you can just go to click add. This will add a new channel that's connecting to a WooCommerce website. So you need to start off by giving it an easily identifiable name so that later on when your business is grown and you're, you're dealing with multiple websites and marketplace accounts and so on, you know what each one is for. So this one of course is pretty easy, it's an Aversam test site. Next, take you forward. Now the first thing it's going to ask you of the three fields is the website endpoint. That's really easy, that is just the address of your site at the front end like that. but then it's going to ask you for a consumer key and a consumer secret. Now these are a little bit more complicated. For those you're going to need to log into the back end of your WordPress website. This is usually WP login at the end of the website address. So I'm just going to log in now. Now in the dashboard for your, web, for your WordPress site, if you go to the WooCommerce section and settings, now the first thing we're going to do is go to advanced, which is where what we're for sits. Now before we do anything else, I just need you to check under legacy API that it's been enabled, because this just makes, it, makes sure that the system can see your site and work with it. Then we're going to go across to the REST API. Save changes if you have to enable it obviously. Now under REST API we have an entry for Aversam at the moment but if we assume that we're creating a new one we're going to go to add key. Now the API means it's how you have other programs and other sites talk to your WordPress site. So it is possible you may have multiple API keys. Try to set up a different API key for each purpose. That means if you need to, you can revoke that key and cut off the other site or the other software if you need to. So in line with that, we describe what this is. So this is our Absam API key. We tell it which user it's operating as. So I only have one user in here and we tell you which kind of access it needs. So obviously some will only need to read or write. We're going to need to read and write. So we'll select all those three and we'll click on generate API key. Now this gives you the successfully generated API consumer key and consumer secret here. So for each of those fields we're going to use the copy button, jump back to Aversam and we're going to paste that into the field. Then we're going to click next. As you can see that successfully integrated the website. When you're ready to receive orders and control listings you'll need to turn the status to yes by clicking on it. If it's not enabled then orders won't be downloaded, step levels won't be updated etc etc. But also if we click on WooCommerce here I want to quickly look at additional settings. If stock update is not enabled then the system won't update your stock levels and you risk overselling. That's one of the more important things to focus on. 
We have some other details which we'll focus on in another video. Should you need to remove this integration, then you click on remove account and confirm. If you need to make a change in here, such as turning on stock update, always remember to save the changes. So thank you very much for listening to this video and watching it with me. If you have further comments, we do understand that everyone's WooCommerce site is going to be a little bit different. We do have access to support for you. So you can reach out via our live chat in the bottom right hand corner here. You can raise a support ticket from here with the question mark or you can email us on support at amazon.com and we will do our best to help you. Thank you once again for listening.